is uh, Nicholas Vitek. <coughs> I'm a research scientist in the animal and human health program. And I mainly do uh, work in, in the lab or plan experiments in the lab. So uh, initially, I thought that our work didn't have a, an impact on, on gender issues. Uh, I thought that we were very, very far from like, re reaching women. And we used to have even uh, uh, to have this joke in the lab saying that um, the, the gender balance in our project was to have 50% males, 50% females in our animal groups uh, when testing vaccines. But then uh, we had uh, these seminars at ILRI on uh, uh, how, to, how to incorporate gender in, in our work. And uh, <clears throat> this is when I realized uh, how um, like working on a particular livestock species can have an impact on women. For, for instance, uh, working on a disease that affects chicken uh, can have a, a real impact on women because, uh, for instance, chicken are mainly managed by women. So that's when um, yeah, it, uh, it uh, helped me like, uh, understand the impact that our work can have uh, on women if we decide to work on a particular animal species. And yeah, so there was this recent call on, um, on livestock and antimicrobial resistance. And with the PI, we decided to work on, uh, on poultry. And then I remembered uh, being, having been educated on, on gender issues at ILRI uh, that it would be nice to, to now have a gender, um, a real gender component on the project. And that's when I decided to reach out to, to our gender expert at Hillary. And uh, yeah, so the, just, just to understand the dynamic uh, around uh, uh, poultry farming uh, in Kenya. So I think it's uh, by educating scientists, especially lab scientists who think their, their work is very far from, from reaching or having an impact on women or gender issues is the best, uh, best way to, to uh, uh, involve more uh, uh, gender work um, on, on lab-related on lab projects.